now let's look at how to form the formula for the sum of the first n terms of a geometric sequence. Consider a geometric sequence A, AR, AR square, AR cube, and so on. Now let the sums to n terms of a geometric sequence as Sn. So you have Sn equal to A, which is the first terms here, plus AR, which is the second terms, plus AR square, plus AR cube, plus the following terms, plus a r to the power of n minus 1, plus a r to the power of n minus 1, which is the last terms, with the first equations. Next, you must multiply the first equations here by common ratio r. So you should get r s n equal to a r plus a r square plus a r cube plus so on plus a r to the power of n minus 1 plus a r to the power of n with the second equations. Next, you should take equations 1 minus equations 2. So you get s n minus r s n equal to a minus a r to the power of n. Or we can factorize the left hand side of these equations okay, with s n and we can factorize a on the right hand side of these equations. So you should get on the left hand side here, we have sn times 1 minus r equal to on the right hand side a times 1 minus r to the power of n. So if r less than 1, we have sn equal to a times 1 minus r to the power of n divided by 1 minus r. And if r greater than 1, we have Sn equal to A times R to the power of N minus 1 divided by R minus 1. Now, let's look at the relationship between N terms, which is Tn, and the sum of the first N terms, Sn, for the geometric progressions. We have this formula, Tn equal to Sn minus Sn minus 1. For example, if you want to find the third terms, you can take S3 minus S2. Example 4. Find the sum of geometric series 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus so on plus 1 over 256. You can change this series into the sequence forms. We can have the first terms 1 second terms 1 over 2, the third terms 1 over 4, and so on until the last term is 1 over 256. Now, the question asks you to find the sum of geometric series, which is Sn. Before you can find Sn, you need to find n, which is the number of terms in this sequence. Okay, now I will take out a few informations based on this sequence which is we can have a equal to 1, r, which is you can take, for example, t2 divided by t1. So we can have 1 over 2. And the last term is tn equal to 1 over 256. And in order to find n, the number of terms, you need to use this formula, which is tn equal to a r to the power of n minus 1. And we have Tn, which is 1 over 256 equal to A. 1, R is 1 over 2 to the power of N minus 1. So for this part, which is 1 over 2 power of N minus 1, I will change it to 1 over 2 to the power of N minus 1. So we have 1 over 256 equal to 1 over 2 to the power of N minus 1. Now, I will cross multiply these equations. So we get 2 to the power of n minus 1 equal to 256. Next, I will change 256 in index forms with the base 2. So we have 2 to the power of n minus 1 equal to 2 to the power of 8. Since we have the same base here, which is base 2, we can cancel out that base. So we have n minus 1 equal to 8, so n equal to 9. 
Therefore, the number of terms in this sequence is 9. Now we can use n equal to 9 to find Sn, which is S9. Before that, I will check R. Since R equal to 1 over 2, which is R less than 1, we can use this formula of Sn, which is Sn equal to A times 1 minus R to power of N divided by 1 minus R with N equal to 9. So we have S9 equal to A, which is 1 times 1 minus r to the power of n, we have 1 over 2 to the power of 9 divided by 1 minus r, which is 1 over 2. So, you should get S9 equal to 511 divided by 256. Example 5. The sum of the first three terms of a geometric progression is 7 over 4. And the sum of the next three terms is 7 over 32. Find the common ratio of the progressions. You are given two informations in this question. The first one is the sum of the first three terms, which is S3, is 7 over 4. So we have S3 equal to 7 over 4. And the second information is the sum of the next three terms is 7 over 32. That means you have the sum for T4 plus T5 plus T6 equal to 7 over 32. Or we can have as 6 minus as 3 equal to 7 over 32. So I will write as 6 minus as 3 equal to 7 over 32 and the question asks you to find the common ratio which is r in order to find r you need to write s3 and s6 in the form of this formula which is sn equal to a times 1 minus r to the power of n divided by 1 minus r so for s3 we have a times 1 minus r to the power of 3 divided by 1 minus r equal to 7 over 4 let it be the first equations for s6 here we have s6 minus s3 which is 7 over 4 so just substitute 7 over 4 equal to 7 over 32 so we get s6 equal to 63 over 32 and I will write S6 as A times 1 minus R to the power of 6 divided by 1 minus R equal to 63 over 32. That will be the second equations. So to find R now, I will take equations 2 divided by equations 1. So equations 2 divided by equations 1 will be A times 1 minus r to the power of 6 divided by 1 minus r times 1 minus r divided by a times 1 minus r to the power of 3 which is from here equations 2 and this part of the equations 1 equal to 63 over 32 here times instead of 7 over 4 we will write 4 over 7 so we have to cancel out 1 minus r with 1 minus r and a with a so we have 1 minus r to the power of 6 divided by 1 minus r cubed equal to 9 over 8 Okay, next, I will factorize 1 minus r to the power of 6 here. I should get 1 minus r cubed times 1 plus r cubed divided by 1 minus r cubed equal to 9 over 8. Now, let's cancel up 1 
minus r cube with 1 minus r cube and we have 1 minus r sorry 1 plus r cube equal to 9 over 8 so r cube equal to 9 over 8 minus 1 so equal to 1 over 8 so now r equal to 1 over 2 example 6 in a geometric sequence the first term is 7 the last term is 448 and the sum of all the terms is 889 find the common ratio and the number of terms so you are given three information in this question the first information is first term is 7 so we have a equal to 7 the second information is last term is 448 so we have tn equal to 448 and the third information is sum of all the term is 889 so we have sn equal to 889 and the question asks you to find the common ratio which is r and the number of term which is n so in order to find r and n you need to have at least two equation which is we have now tn equal to 448 and sn equal to 889 but for tn here you need to write in the form of tn equal to ar to the power of n minus 1 so we have tn equal to 448 tn here is ar to the power of n minus 1 you can substitute a with 7 so we have 7 r to the power of, of n minus 1 equal to 448 so next we have r to the power of n minus 1 equal to 448 divided by 7 equal to 64 next i will write r to the power of n minus 1 in the form of r to the power of n divided by r power 1 equal to 64 now let r to the power of n be the subject so we have r to the power of n equal to 64 r be the first equations next for sn equal to 889 we need to write sn in the form of sn equal to a which is 7 times r to the power of n minus 1 over r minus 1 equal to 889 next i will multiply r minus 1 with 887 so we have 7 times r to the power of n minus 1 equal to 889 times r minus 1. Next, I will take 889 divided by 7. So, we have r to the power of n minus 1 equal to 127 times r minus 1. That will be the second equation. Next, I will try to find the value of r, which is the common ratio. By substitute equations 1 here into equations 2. So, substitute equations 1 into equations 2. For this part, r to the power of n, we will substitute with 64r. So, we will get 64 r minus 1 equal to 127 times r minus 1. So, next I will expand the right hand side parts here, which is we're going to have 64 r minus 1 equal to 127 r minus 127. Next, we will take 64 r minus 127r so you should get negative 63r equal to negative 127 plus 1 so we have negative 126 so r equal to 2 now since we have the value of r which is equal to 2 we can use this to be substituted into equations 1 or equations 2 to find n so I will choose to substitute into equations 1. So substitute into equation 1, we have 
r to power of n, which is 2 to the power of n, equal to 64 times r, which is times 2. So we have 2 to the power of n equal to 128. Then we can change 128 in the index form with the base 2. So we get 2 to the power of 7s. Now we have 2 to the power of n equal to 2 to the power of 7s. Since we have the same base, which is base 2 here, we can cancel base 2. So simplify, it will get n equal to 7. Therefore, the number of terms is 7.